What's going on, you beautiful people? Welcome to this video. I'm here in Stratfield. Now, you might be thinking, what is this? What is going on? If you watched my last video, um, I said I can't travel, so I'm going to go to these different local areas in Sydney and show you what they look like. Now, this place is basically Korea. So, obviously, I can't go to Korea right now. So, this is the next best thing. Now, there are four areas in Sydney that is very, very Korean. Uh, one, majority, Stratfield. Another one is in the city, CBD, in the middle of the city, on Peach Street, which is one of the main streets, or the second main streets in the city. There's a couple other ones like Eastwood and Lidcombe as well. But we're gonna go to two of them today. Beautiful Christmas tree right here still. And uh, yeah, so we're gonna go explore this area and just show you kind of like what the Korean version um, of, uh, you know, Sydney's Korean version looks like. So this is it. There's, um, I guess Sydney, you know, Korea is uh, famous for two main things. I'm gonna kind of go this way, all the way that way. But you're looking at, why is this not turning on? Okay, my back screen is not turning on. Here we go, that's better. So Korea is famous for, um, oh, why buddy? Korea is famous for the food, you know, like the Korean barbecue and the chimek, which is chicken and beer. So you've kind of like got this street food situation here. Hello. Hello. How are you? Yeah, okay, so you got tteokbokki and cheese and corn dog and oh my God, chicken, sausage, beautiful. So, gives you that kind of like Korean version of food here. There's some supermarkets that are very Korean too, like Seoul Deli. And basically, I would assume that it's the same as what you would find in... Should we go inside? Let's go have a look. I would assume it would be the same. Oh, okay, it's like a little cafe. Now let's go to this actual supermarket. Should we do that? Yeah, that looks good. Now let's go in. So you got kind of like your Korean snacks. Ooh, ooh. All these kind of different kimchi. And, you know Whoa, so you got all this beautiful kimchi right there. I'm making a little video, is that okay? Thank you. All right. Um, yeah, so you basically got all these Korean snacks. Quite delicious. And I quite like the ice creams, but I don't see them here right now. So yeah, you've got basically all the noodles and and uh, all the Korean snacks, some beauty products, so you won't be without your beauty products here. Nice, I actually like this one a lot, it's quite delicious. Cool, thank you. So yeah, this is uh, what a typical, oh here we go, these are the ice creams I'm looking at. Oh, this is good, this is good, they're all good. This ice cream is really good too. We might get one on the way back. Mangoes, yeah, beautiful. So yeah, this is basically um, one of the typical supermarkets, but they're also quite famous for like their cafes. You know, Koreans love their coffee. Starbucks is quite famous or popular in Korea. So there's this place called Lab. It is, let's go have a quick look inside. Because it's basically, they've got all this bakery stuff. All this beautiful bakery and delicious food. And it's quite cheap, you know, like $4 for this. There's all these mochi, mochi super rice cake. Amazing. So yeah, Koreans definitely love their bakery. 
and you get variety of it here. This place is very popular and they, they actually got a really good um, binsu, which is basically like a crushed ice and ice cream and cream and stuff like that, which is quite awesome. Um, but yeah, you got all these different kind of bakeries and quite awesome vibes. Sorry, whoops. I just hit somebody in the ass. They actually make everything here fresh. So, look, there's the, there's the cooking. Cool. Yeah, I make everything fresh in this place. A very nice place to chill. Oh, that looks good. You too? Yeah. For your channel? Oh. <laughs> yeah, for my channel, yeah. <laughs> Cheers, buddy. All right, let's go another place. But yeah, basically a beautiful dope cafe right here. Bakery cafe kind of that has a lot of good stuff that you can enjoy. Why is this? My back screen is not really working too well. Now, there's a big Korean community living here. So, you know, you would need your Korean hairdresser and nail done stuff, beauty, beauty, beauty stuff. There's quite a few of them. And, you know, Koreans love their uh, beauty products. This place is actually quite amazing. They've got really, really, this is the name. It's one of my favorite places, actually. I come here a lot and they've got really good Dobogi rice cake, very delicious and very cheap. Whoa, it's open. Okay, it's full house. Full house, full house. Everybody inside. Okay, we'll come back. So, as we keep going down, we've got some other cafes and some other places that you can eat. But because of COVID, They've, you know, there's like all these restrictions on the number of people you can have and, and everything else. We're going to go this way down the road and then we'll come back to the other side and show you the shopping mall and what that looks like. This is a typical 7-Eleven. I don't know if it looks any different. Let's have a look. Probably not. Hello. Um... Yeah, no, it's not overly, it's not overly Korean, so that's fine. How are you? <sighs> All right, let's keep going. Here we go. What do we got? Stratfield, kind of like another supermarket. Is mostly fresh food. This one is. This one is what? How are you, buddy? Mmm, cherry. Oh, I hate this music. Okay, sorry, we can't, we can't do this here. We can't go in because of the music, unfortunately. So let's not do that. All right, then we got what? Butchery? Beautiful. Good meat. Doesn't look that amazing, but I've seen some better Korean butcheries around. But yeah, so basically everything Korean over here, you know, and now you got Korean uh, restaurant. Well, it's Korean and Chinese. So very nice. This is the bingsu I was talking about. It's delicious bingsu. Wow, look at that. Amazing. Then we got Chicken B, which is another chicken beer place. Super awesome and delicious. Another Korean. Supermarket. Oh, this one is very Korean. This one is very Korean, but you got all the snacks and everything. They also all the ice cream. Oh my god! And you got all these different Korean products. I don't really know what they are, but if you're Korean, you can leave a comment. But you can see what you can get here. Basically, everything you need. All these Korean pickles and. Mmm, delicious. What's this? So yeah, so basically, if you're a Korean, you move to Sydney, 
you know, you won't miss home, that's for sure, because you've got basically everything you need. Amazing. All right. Cool. Sorry, mate. Excuse me. Mm, nice air here. I like it. Fresh. Cool. Then keep going, and there is more Korean restaurants. And obviously the COVID line sticking out, going crazy. All this beauty, beauty. Oh, there you go. If you, you know, if you want some Korean dresses. Is it Taiwanese? No, Korean, right? Yeah, Korean. Why is that Chinese? I don't know. Uh, definitely, maybe not Korean. Okay. Cool. That's pretty much it. There's a few other places uh, that way if we keep going. Not, ma not many. And then we got some more beer, chicken beer places over there. And uh, just, yeah, residential buildings around here. Now we're going to go back this way and get into the shopping mall as well, just to show you what that kind of looks like. So yeah, if you, you know, if you, if you like Korean food, this is the place to come and eat. There's a lot of options, a lot of good places to eat. And um, you won't, yeah, you won't regret it. You'll definitely enjoy yourself over here. Korean barbecue place. Very nice. Korean barbecue is delicious. Look at this. There we go. Basically sit there, cook your food. Small beauty hair product and stuff. Salons. More restaurants. We'll go this way. Tours, that shopping mall, and then we'll get in. Korean girls. Yeah, a lot of Korean people here. Korean grandma. And you all say, oh, grandma. Going to the pharmacy. You've got kind of like your chicken place over here. Chicken place over here playing music. I can't go in there. But you got some chicken place. And this, we get into the shopping mall. All right, over here, we, what do we got? Korean clothes? No, not really. Not really. Ooh. The lights are going crazy here. You've got some cute clothing. So you basically, if you're a Korean girl and you're looking for something that fits in Australia, this is where you come. 19, 20 dollars, not, not very, not expensive at all, very cheap. In fact, very cheap. There's some more Korean products. Wow, cute hats. And Asian supermarket. So you basically got not only Korean products, but pretty much all Asian products is awesome because if you are uh, Asian you're looking for specific product this is where you find it what else do we got we're gonna go the other way I think shit I can't remember I think it's this way oh maybe this way cool big Korean sale there we go mmm Get some flowers for your girl. So yeah, just wanted to kind of like show you guys the vibes that you get around this area, what it looks like, what it feels like to be here. And if we go this way, we get to, so this is the Woolworth, which is our supermarket, big supermarket chain. There are some little stuff, little shops over here, which is quite good too. 
what do we got? Some Korean food over here too, again? Mm. Mm. Baked beans and what's that? Crabs and pickles. All your different kind of kimchi. Very nice. Oh, and then you got Korean, Korean butchery here. All this Wagyu beef. Oh, look at that. That looks good. I want that. Very nice. You know, Koreans love their meat. So I think the last nation to go vegetarian would be the Koreans. They definitely love their meat. And yeah, there's a lot of uh, butcheries around here selling really good, delicious meat. So that's kind of like what I enjoy around eating and enjoying that as well. Cool. Well, this is basically the shopping mall finishing up here. A couple of little food stalls around, but you got this bread top place, not particularly Korean, but you know, got your, got your type of uh, bakery. And then we got a little bit of uh, kebab around as well. Got some Chinese, some Indians, some milk tea. Oh, not very friendly. <laughs> That's about it. Okay. So we come out here. There's another favorite place of mine that sells really good, really good chicken. Over here. All right, here we go. I think it's over there. The tr it's called Train for some reason. Some reason it's called Train. Here we go. This is a really good chicken place too. That's pretty much it, guys. Guys and girls, this is it. This is it, this is Stratfield for you. This is basically just the majority area here. So now let's just go down to the city. We're gonna go towards the Sydney CBD and we're gonna kind of like show you some of the supermarkets over there and some other things. And yeah, we'll go from there. All right, let's go. Cool, done. YouTuber, YouTuber. Oh, YouTuber. Are you Korean? Are you Japanese? I'm Japanese. What are you doing in Koreatown? Just cheering. Just cheering. Are you still on the live? Hi. Uh, I'm a YouTuber too. Hon? Yeah. Honto? Yeah. Sugoi ne. What's your name on YouTube? What's your YouTube channel? Uh, no, I cannot tell you. What? Secret. You don't need to tell me, you're going to tell thousands of people. <laughs> well, how, how many followers do you have now? Like 23,000? Oh my gosh. Oh, nice. How about you? And, uh, you cannot tell me how many followers you have? Yeah. Sounds like bullshit to me! <laughs> bye bye! <laughs> Alright, well that's it. Let's go down to... Um, where are we going? To the city. Let's go. Beautiful day today in Sydney. Got a really nice weather. Well, look at this. Beautiful day. Amazing. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are here in the Sydney CBD. This is Peach Street, which is basically like a second main street in the city. And here is, um, you know, it's not really Koreatown technically. It's just a lot of Korean things around here. So Korean food, Korean studios again, very similar vibes, but it's mixed in within the city. So let's have a quick look. There we go. Over here is the hair salon. Over here we got the grocery store, the Korean shop. Let me see if I can fix this and the flicker. So you got all Korean products over here. Oh yeah, that looks much better. I should have done this earlier. Oh, there's a Korean song over here. We can't really go in too much. So let's just quickly talk over it a little bit and just get in. Quite similar. Yeah, let's not do that. I don't want this uh, to get copyright strike over here, so. Let's get out of here. But basically, quite a lot of uh, Korean shops and restaurants over there. Barbecue, Wagyu beef barbecue over there. Some more over here. Korean barbecue and chicken. Madang restaurant. There's like a little bit of a hidden spot over here, actually. Oh, Jesus. 
the hidden, it's like a hidden restaurant just back there, over there. That's a good spot. It's a bit windy, Jesus. Very windy. All right, well, that's pretty much it, guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video, showing you the Korean side of Sydney. Next week, we're gonna go, go to, I would say, Thai town, maybe, or, or like a Vietnamese town, because they're, they're pretty big and interesting as well, um, especially a Vietnamese one. And uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed it. See you in the next one. Yeah. Cheers.